Hi, this is a video on the Alfort selfie stick tripod. Now this particular tripod is suitable for your mobile phone, your action camera and your point and shoot camera or small compact camera. It's a selfie stick and tripod all in one and we and I bought this from Amazon for $11.99 on Prime. There was no special deals on it at the time when I bought this. Now, as you go around the box here, it does not say Alfort uh, on there. It just says on there stating uh, monopod. And we have a picture of the actual selfie stick and tripod combination here with the remote. At the bottom, made in China, and obviously written, <laughs> even though it's in Chinese, I take it that this is means that it's uh, remote control, stroke Bluetooth, um, suitable for cameras, uh, flash <laughs> on there, and I do not know what that is whatsoever, because there's no explanation for that. Uh, on the side here, it comes in assortments of colors, but on, Amazon you only get it in black so Amazon only sells it in black at the moment they do not sell these other colors um, which is listed down there just in black uh, on the back basically just a couple of pictures and that's the Amazon um, label there and on the other side we have showing you the shutter um, button here uh, with the phone on the stick itself and the stick is one of those twist and lock ones and it just shows you which way to twist the actual um, shaft of the selfie stick but I will come to that later. Now in the box this is what we have. We have the phone holder here. We have the shutter release button here with its own cradle. So phone holder, shutter release button with its cradle here. We have the tripod here, which is similar to a Manfrotto uh, Pix, mini Pixie um, tripod, very similar to it, very similar. And we have the selfie stick here, which is so similar to a um, pole, a action pole or action self, um, selfie pole so it's very similar to that with a wrist lanyard on there and also a quarter inch thread mount at the top with a GoPro attachment up here with a thumb screw and we have a small manual about the Bluetooth shutter so the manual covers the Bluetooth shutter not the actual um, selfie stick tripod. Now we'll go around the selfie stick. We have a simple wrist lanyard here with no adjustment on there whatsoever, made out of nylon. We have a rubber um, uh, handle here, which is, I have to say, which is textured in a diamond um, shape texture shape on there which is very very nice to touch and to hold not quite thick but it's quite it's a nice hold on there we have the actual selfie stick here some instructions here how to turn the selfie stick to uh, extend it out and to lock it into position and at the top here as you can see we have a GoPro thumb screw here with a GoPro mount here and we have a GoPro style um, tripod mount here with a quarter inch thread on the top. Now this is for you to mount your action camera on there so you can mount if you've got an action camera like any of the like SJ cams and uh, cameras similar to that one that have their quarter inch thread um, built in to the actual camera can mount straight onto this otherwise 
we can mount the provided phone holder which has a thread here at the bottom and it also has a thread at the back here now that is quite useful if you want to mount a particular um, arm off it to hold a microphone um, on there or extra light so that's quite useful here we have the phone mount and the phone mount has a screw thread on the bottom and on the back quarter inch screw thread we have foam here foam backing here and rubber at the bottom and at the top it is spring loaded um, spring loaded and it can take up to the largest phones and the smallest phones so all your iPhones no matter what size they are can fit in here all your Samsung phones your LG phones etc so your phones will fit in here no matter what the sizes are because this stretches quite up far quite a distance so it will fit in here so that is the mount and it is made out of plastic it feels like a good quality plastic so I wouldn't worry too much about that but that's the phone mount now the tripod is similar to the Manfrotto um, Pixie Mini I think or Mini Pixie it's very similar to that it's almost like a rip-off design to it actually um, what we get on here is slight little bit of ribbing on each leg here uh, it is made out of plastic but it's a good thick hard plastic and it seems a bit of quality to it we have rubber padded feet at the bottom and as you can see that's how it spreads out so you can connect the selfie stick to the top because it has a quarter inch thread and that's a rubber plate on fixed to the bottom fixed to it here so it has a quarter inch thread so you can fix the pole on the top underneath um, we have a couple of screws here where the legs are screwed in and there's no special mechanism to this it just simply spreads out like that and that's how far it will um, go and it, I have to say it's got quite a wide base so for outside use this is quite good and for tabletop use and the feel in the hand is quite nice because as I says it is based off just by looking at the design it's based off the Manfrotto um, Pixie lineup of their tabletop and small tripods and now we have the shutter button here now this shutter button is very similar to the newer shutter button very very similar I've tried this shutter button to connect just in case people are wondering and I saw my other videos I tried to connect this bu uh, shutter button to my Insta uh, 360 cameras and it doesn't work so I don't think this is a newer one but it looks very similar to it but it doesn't connect with those cameras it's CR 2032 coin battery which goes up here and you simply pull that off and it fits in there as you can see I try and get it in there but it's a CR 2032 battery and we have the off and on switch at the side and as you can see it's flashing to connect now these shutter buttons are easy to connect to your phone I don't have much difficulty connecting this the top button here even though it says uh, camera and 360 um, iOS it's also suitable for Android so don't worry about these buttons saying iOS and Android because basically the top button usually is to take photos and the bottom button is usually to take video so don't worry about where it says iOS and Android it is suitable for either platforms on them phones and we have the cradle here to fit the remote in which snaps in there like that I'll better switch that off snap, the, snap in there like that and that will fit on 
the arm of the selfie stick. It kind of clips on like so. So it clips on the arm of the selfie stick there. So that's quite neat because normally you do not get this on the selfie stick. So I give a thumbs up to Alfred for that. That's quite neat. Now, before I get into showing you how this selfie stick looks when fitted all the accessories onto it, um, let's go about the dimensions. Now, from the top of the selfie stick, without the phone holder on top, to the bottom of the selfie stick is 12 inches long. So that's 12 inches long when collapsed. Now, when fully extended, now I normally go by dimensions like this when it comes to selfie sticks. I take the point just below where the phone holder goes. So just where the mount is at the top here to the handle, just above the handle here. And that distance for this selfie stick between these two points is 30 inches. So this is one of the longest um, selfie sticks um, I've had. It's one of the longest. It's not the longest, it's one of the longest. So you've got quite a good length here. As I always say in my videos, I do not count the length of the selfie stick to the end here where the rubber handle is when it's fully extended because obviously your hand takes up some of the grip and I don't count when the phone holder is on top because the phone takes up some of the uh, inches as well. So I don't count that. So for a selfie stick, 30 inches, quite a good length. Okay, next I'm gonna show you the shutter button. Now this shutter button is one of the easiest shutter buttons to connect to your Bluetooth, uh, to your Bluetooth on your phone. Now, what I'm gonna say is, goes for if you're an iOS user or a Android user, it both works out the same. You go into your Bluetooth settings, either on iOS or on Android. You make sure on Android that your device can be seen by other Bluetooth devices, only on Android. On iOS, just go to Bluetooth, scroll down to the bottom, so I'll come out of that, and you scroll down to the bottom, and what you do with the shutter button is you put it on in the on position at the side here. So you switch it on in the on position and you should get a flashing blue light there. And then on your phone, it will come up and I'll try and get this in shot. It will come up and it's very difficult to get that in shot, but it will come up as AB shutter three. So it'll come up as AB shutter three, and I'm trying to get that in shot, there it is. AB shutter three, it will come up, and you just connect to it. So you just touch it. There's no um, pairing code, nothing like that at all. It will just connect, and once it's connected, this light will then go out, and it's now connected up. Next, I'm gonna show you now, um, with some shutter buttons on Bluetooth remotes when it comes to selfie sticks, some of them mute the sound on your phone of the shutter. So we're just gonna see if this one does the same thing. Some do, some don't. So we'll, we're in photograph, um, camera mode here for photos. So we'll see, so I'm gonna press the top button here. And you hear that? It's taking the picture, so this shutter button doesn't mute. This shutter button remote does not mute the shutter button sound. So I'll go on to video, and you're looking at on the on my um, um, Apple. <laughs> sorry about this. On my phone here, which is the iPhone SE that I use for my demonstration purposes. You're looking at that red circle should turn to a square when I press the bottom button. There it is, and now it's video recording, and it stopped it. So this shutter button here, this shutter button here from 
Alford, Alfort does not mute the sound as you can tell. Now, a couple of things I like with this selfie stick is because it has this GoPro type mount to it, you can simply connect your GoPro camera straight to this mount, um, quick and easy and simple, which is great. Um, I'll show you that just before, um, show you that after. And with this mount, because it has a quarter inch thread, you don't have to use this particular type of um, phone mount. You can use a metal one. If you don't want to use this plastic one, you can buy metal ones to go on here and you can buy ones with a cold shoe mount on here. So if you want to connect a microphone to your cam to your phone or to your GoPro, you can do that. So that's quite great with that. That's one thing I like. So this is removable thanks to this thumb screw. And also you can adjust your camera, um, your phone on, your, on the selfie stick to whatever. Now, the only negative thing which I see so far is because it uses this mount, this particular phone mount, it doesn't go into portrait, that i.e. that kind of position. So you have to turn this, your selfie stick that way. So if you want a portrait type um, photograph, it has to be that way. Otherwise, it only holds the phone in landscape mode. Now, this is how the selfie stick from Alfred looks with a action camera on there. Now I've got a GoPro Hero 7 um, Black on here and this is how it looks. And as I says, you don't have to change the mount at the bottom here because it's a standard GoPro th um, pronged, three pronged mount. Your GoPro camera, whether it's the seven, the five or the six and even the eight can still fit on here. Now, if you've got the Osmo Action, um, that can still fit on here with its pro pro proprietary mount. It will still fit on here because that comes with a kind of GoPro mount as well. And that will still fit on there. Your SJ Cam cameras, which come with a quarter inch screw thread on the bottom of them, and your Yi cameras, they can just screw on the other mount, which is the one that's on here they can just screw straight to that so you don't even have to get a GoPro type frame for them cameras at all it will just fit straight onto there and uh, that is absolutely brilliant it just goes to show how versatile this Alfred selfie stick is now I have to say and um, this is one of the best ones I've actually um, reviewed and for the price it is really really good now this is fully extended with my um, iPhone SE on the top and that's how it looks. I'm trying to get into frame here because I have to stand quite a bit away from the actual um, camera, but that's how it looks. And as you can see, it is quite a long selfie stick, even with the phone on there. So just imagine with the action camera on there, you can see, so that's with the phone on there, with using the proprietary phone mount on the quarter inch thread tripod base on there. So that's how it looks that you get with it. And, and I have to say, it, this is, and I'll say this again, one of the best selfie sticks um, I've actually reviewed. The only thing I dislike about with this selfie stick is obviously it can't go into a portrait mode and obviously um, these bits here the dividers here as you can see there are they're in and I'll screw this down they're in a white color if they were in black plastic it would have been great now this particular selfie stick the shaft is one of these twist to lock it in place it's not like the old car aerial where it uses friction this uses a twist motion to lock it in place so you can have it at any length but it's a nice firm st um, sturdy selfie stick the axle stem is made out of metal and we have two sets of seams running down either side of it so it, it can take a bit of weight on that obviously if you're going to put your 
on the mount here if you're gonna screw that off and put your camera on here it can take your point and shoot camera or compact camera you may able to get away with a small mirrorless camera um, depends what lens you put on there if you put too much of a big lens on your small mirrorless camera and then obviously the weight of this when it's fully extended may influence this even though this top part is quite thick but I'd say with a mirrorless camera I would say watch your lenses that you put on there but you can get away with the standard Canon or your Sony mirrorless cameras on there no problem right this is how this um, Alfred's selfie stick tripod looks when it's fully extended now what you're looking at on your screen I'm at the very top of your screen there and it just starts to show the height of this thing now if you're going to take this outside like I say and always in my videos bring a piece of string with you and the reason why some of you probably asked that because I do get questions that when you bring a piece of string and I suggest bring something about 30 inches long so a piece of string 30 inches long I'd suggest um, some cord right um, the reason is if there's a wind blowing at the moment it's only an iPhone SE which is a small phone but most people do carry around the larger phones these days and if the wind catches it, it it's not so much this part the wind would catch it will catch the phone and it will use the phone like a sail so it would push depends which way the wind is it will, will push this over because even though this has got a quite a decent base on the bottom um, it's not a, it's not resistant to wind so if you bring a piece of string I'd say about 30 inches with you a piece of cord then you can um, latch it or uh, tie it onto the selfie stick here and then you can tie it onto a pole or to a chair leg or a table leg whatever you're near to where you want to fully extend this now you don't have it you don't have to have it fully extended obviously outside um, you can bring it down and I'll brought it down to that so you can bring it down and obviously the closer to the ground you are going to get it the less likely the wind is going to blow it over but if you, now as you can see this is one of it's one of the better ones to bring outside with you as i said you have to still bring that piece of string but it's one of the better ones to bring outside with you if you're going to use the tripod um, legs on the bottom as you can see it's quite um, the base of it is quite wide um, considering that it's standing on this and it's quite solid I'd, I'd give it that and also it's suitable for indoors on and on top of tables desks um, no problem with that so it's suitable for indoor use as well I didn't get no kind of shake even being next to it even on this hard floor so it seems to keep its balance quite well now another thing that you can use is the base the tripod base now remember I said to you earlier on in the video that this looks like a copy of the Manfrotto Pixie uh, especially the Pixie Mini I think they call it and so now you can put the same mount phone mount straight to the tripod base and carry it like that so if you're looking for just a simple um, straightforward small mini tripod and um, grip for it this is not bad that's quite it's not bad at all especially the legs of this thing and how it's shaped it's it fits in the hand quite well and as it says you can have the tripod function just like that uh, with your camera the only thing you do not get is rather than you get with the mini and with the Manfrotto um, Pixie Mini and Pixie XL I think it is which is a large one is that you can tilt the camera you haven't got this obviously on that there's no way of tilting now if you put a ball head on top of here and place the phone mount on top then you've got 
basically the same function as the Manfrotto Pixies. Now coming to the end of your video and this is my two pence worth on the Alford selfie stick tripod. Now for $11.99 it is to me one of the best uh, tripods for that price. It's one of the best ones for what you're getting. You're getting a decent, very decent um, tripod legs that can also double up as a simple hand grip uh, for your phone or action camera. That's brilliant. The actual selfie stick part is almost like an action pole, um, literally not far off from an action pole, even, even probably better than some of the action poles what I actually reviewed. And this is up there with them and even slightly better than them. I like the rubber grip and especially the texture uh, finish to it is really brilliant. The remote, even though it's a generic, like quite a few remotes, um, that if you buy them on their own, shutter remote, is one of the easiest ones to set up on any phone, whether it's Android or iOS, it's one of the easiest. Simple to use, so that's great. The pole itself is made out of metal and it's very good, very sturdy and can able to take some weight. I love the GoPro mount, which they have on the top here, which is good because you don't have to worry about um, as you're adjusting it over time, this wearing out, because it's a proper GoPro style mount. I like the mount at the top with a quarter inch thread, which you can able to put any action camera on there or your point and shoot cameras on there and the mount. That is just brilliant, universal, absolutely good. And if you don't want to use that, you can absolutely take that off and put your standard GoPro tripod mounts on there, which you can buy. So if you damage this, you can buy these mounts um, from third party then, from third party manufacturers. That's brilliant. So all in all, and even the actual, actual phone holder is quite good. I like that. And I like the screw hole on the back on there that you can actually put a proprietary third party holder on there. If you want to put a mic on or an extra camera on there, you've got that facility there. So that's really brilliant. So for 11 pounds, I'll call it, sorry, 12 pounds, just under one pence under 12 pound, 11.99. You cannot go wrong with this. And I suggest it's to buy it. Even if you're going on holiday, um, the breakdown of this thing into your case, it's not, it's not very big at all. So it is really good. And if you want something to last through your holiday, to bring home, to take to your holidays at home and to bring back to your holidays, you can't go wrong with this. The only negatives which I can find um, with this is that they should have provided you with a ball head. If they provided you with a ball head in the pack, it would have been perfect because if you want to use this particular part, the tripod part, as a, just a grip for your phone, they should have included a ball head so you can make that adjustment with your phone to make it look towards you like the top instead of just having to do it by hand to make that adjustment. That would, that's, that would make the cherry on the cake for this thing. So if you're looking for a decent, brilliant um, selfie stick tripod, this one is one of the ones you should look into because for 12 pounds, well, just depending on the 12 pounds, it's worth more than this. So Alfred's, I give you a thumbs up for this. Now, if you happen to have this Alford um, selfie stick tripod, please leave a comment down in the comment section below what you thought of it uh, to let other people know. If you like this video, please put a thumbs up. If you don't like it, put a thumbs down and please subscribe to my channel. Anyway, thanks for watching.